Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here, back another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Looking at the last beer that Kevin from Tampa sent me out from Cigar City, and this is their Good Gourd, which is their Imperial Pumpkin Ale. It's eight and a half percent alcohol by volume, ale with pumpkin and spices added. They say on the side that they use pumpkin in the mashing process and add a bunch of spices including uh, Ceylon cinnamon, some type of cinnamon, Jamaican allspice, Zanzibar cloves, and nutmeg. So, uh, hope it's as good as the other beers he sent. Let's get this one open. I have heard it's one of the better pumpkin ales out there. But uh, we'll see how it competes with the likes of Shipyard Smash, Smash Pumpkin and Southern Tears Pumpkin. Those are probably my two favorites. At least for your typical Imperial Pumpkin Ale. I like some other darker ones like Midnight Sun's Treat and Brewery's Burly Gourd, but you can't really compare them to these. Pours out a really, really hazy orange color. Uh, just, I can't see anything. It's pretty opaque orange. Seems like a decent amount of carbonation coming up. Just a light, like, half finger. Let's kind of swirl that around. Looks like it's kind of on the tan side. Yeah, almost in a khaki colored head. Let's get the aroma. Oh wow, yeah, you can smell they're using like really high quality spices. It's a pretty nice blend of the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the clove, the allspice. Uh, very intense on the spice character. Yeah, it smells very fresh, like they use really fresh uh, spices in this, whereas some other pumpkin beers just kind of look like, kind of smell like they had this kind of some stuff that had been laying around and kind of threw it in. Maybe stuff that was already dry. This just smells intensely fresh. Slight bit of pumpkin in the background. A little bit of a breadiness. Almost like a vanilla character to it as well. Maybe those spices kind of mingling together create that. Oh, smells really good. Let's dig in. Cheers. It's really big on the spices really spice forward like a really fresh pumpkin pie that's been made with fresh pumpkin really really fresh spices they clearly are using some really high quality stuff in this beer you can definitely taste it all, all the spices mingle together really well one doesn't really stand out between the cinnamon the nutmeg the clove the allspice they're all there you can taste them all and you just hit with a lot of that there is some uh, sweetness though coming through from the malt. Nice creaminess to it. You know, pumpkin will add a little bit of fermentable sugars, but also contribute a lot to mouthfeel and add some flavor as well. But it's a nice creamy mouthfeel to this beer. Yeah, you just blast with those spices up front, midway through, sweetness, sweet bready malt, uh, some caramel. The pumpkin shows up. The, the finish kind of has this vanilla kind of like character. It kind of gives you the idea of like maybe a little bit of like a whipped cream sort of character. Yeah, along with some kind of nice toasty malt. It kind of gives it a crust-like character. And you get a little bit of lingering spices on, on the tongue. The 8.5%, fortunately you can taste that. It is kind of... This beer's definitely on the boozier side compared to Shipyards. They hide the alcohol really, really well. This one, the alcohol is not so well hidden. Mouthfeel, this one drinks pretty medium light. I actually wish there was a bit more body to it. Maybe a bit more sweetness would help. Because I think they have so much spices up front that the middle of the palate needs a little more sweetness because it does finish on the dry side. And, and you do taste the alcohol in the back end. I think maybe a little more malt character would help kind of cover up some of the uh, the alcohol notes I'm getting on the back end. So I'm going to kind of have to dock the beer for that, but overall I think it's, a, it's an excellent pumpkin beer. Uh, I, I, their spice character stands out beyond any of the other pumpkin beers out there. I, I just think they're, what the quality they're using and the, and the freshness that it tastes to it, it it's, stands above the rest. So I'm going to go A- minus with this one. Big thanks to Kevin out in Tampa once again for sending me out all these awesome Cigar City beers that we cannot get here in San Diego and Southern California. So it's been a real treat to try these. Appreciate it. It's going to wrap up this review. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.